You have to learn how to vet women better. I've had about 100 coaching calls on Clarity, and probably 90 of them have had to do with guys making dumb choices with women. Really bad choices with women. There's nothing, gentlemen, that will fuck up your life better than choosing to partner with the wrong woman. You guys are all familiar with divorce law and how that handles men on the back end. I don't need to go into it. Avoid long-term relationships with. This is my list. I mean, there's probably a few more, but this is my main list, LTRs. I'm not saying don't date them. I'm just saying avoid long-term relationships at all costs with these types of women. Da dangerous personalities. I was actually hoping Joe Navarro was going to talk more about that in his talk, but he wrote a book called Dangerous Personalities. I encourage you to get it. It'll help you filter through the riffraff and pick out higher quality women a lot faster when you spot personality traits like heavy narcissism, uh, instabilities, psychopaths, things like that. If you want to talk about psychopaths, have a chat with Anthony after about uh, Medusa. He'll, he'll, feel, he'll fill you right in. Stay away from women that have dangerous personalities. They will ruin your fucking life. Plain Captain save -a fairly straightforward. Women with daddy issues. If you're a strong, virtuous alpha male and you're dating a woman with daddy issues, she's not going to value you. She didn't have a man in her life when she was growing up. And yes, I understand it's not always necessarily her fault. But if the mom had any level of cohesion to, able to be able to navigate the world properly, grandfather would be in, uncle would be in, somebody would be in. But there's, but there's a lot of women that have gone through most of their life without a strong, virtuous, adult male role model. And if you want to become the best version of yourself, stay away from women like that. They will exhaust the fuck out of you. Broke women, straightforward. You're going to be bailing them out all the time. Birth order conflicts is not something I hear a lot of people talk about. Uh, Dr. Kevin Lehman, just jot this down, he wrote some really good books on birth order. I'd encourage you to pick them up. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm a firstborn. I got two younger brothers. For me, being in a long-term relationship with a woman that's also a firstborn is a nightmare. It's like you're always fighting over the steering wheel, who's going to go where, you know, who's, who's, who's driving the bus. I don't have time for it. For me, the best relationships that I've had have always been with lastborns. So firstborn, lastborn, tender works best. Middleborn can go with either. If there's an age gap of more than five years between the lastborn and the next child, the, the lastborn child then takes on the firstborn personality. So grab that book. You'll find it quite useful. Uh, again, the author's name is Dr. Kevin Lehman. Drug and alcohol dependency is pretty straightforward. Controlling jealous. Had this girlfriend in my 20s, uh, living girlfriend, made the mistake of moving in a woman. Uh, Rolla will talk about that anytime you ask him, but you never live with a woman uh, unless you're marrying her or you're getting married. And uh, jealous as fuck. She, I don't know what her strategy or plan was, but she went, you know, rifling through some of my boxes and belongings that I just stashed away in the back of my closet. And one day I came home from work and confronted, like right in my face, what's up with the Kelly Shrine in your closet at the back of the closet? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I understand. It's like, rifled off all this stuff. And I'm like, oh man, you got to go. Stay away from women like that. They're going to exhaust the crap out of you. If they're jealous or controlling, let somebody else deal with that nonsense. Be intentional about moving through your life. Be intentional about letting people into your life. The more intentional you are, you're going to let people go. There's going to be people that are going to leave your life. Friends that might have been in your life for a long time. Somebody that you might be dating right now. I don't know. It's okay to let them go. Single mothers. I'm going to hit on single mothers for a bit because um, not a lot of people talk about it.